Hey YouTube, Scott Stevens here. Welcome to another GBL game. It's the New York Knights hosting the Tokyo Kaiju. We are at Metropolitan Stadium. It's a day game. Former home of and the Minnesota Vikings and Minnesota Twins. Baseball coming Two homes ago the for them. Show. It's the Kaiju going up against the Knights. The Kaiju are 1-20. The New York Knights are 19-4. and four. Whitey Ford. On the bump First pitch coming at you right for after the, the New York Knights here this afternoon. Just about set to go. He's three and one on the season with an ERA of ten, yeah, two point seven zero. Sixteen strikeouts, no walks. The other stats are not accurate. Jake Myers is hitting 182, no homers, seven RBIs. I don't know why the stats are so screwed up on here. And the game's been out for six months. They should have it together by now. Whiteface Chicken Fox still running rampant through the MLB The Show 23 game, as you can see. And that one Something else off. that not been fixed. This this stadium is another one of Dennis's masterpieces. I'll put his information down in the description. He makes fantastic stadiums. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just yeah. a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Oh, Ronald no. Acuna Jr. batting with one down, takes a strike. Sitting 247, three homers, seven RBIs. Almost on the warning track. He's got a lot of speed, too. Chris, the tools for Acuna, the one thing that jumps out for me, power and power to all fields. I love his right center field pop, and we saw him in the All-Star game a few years ago. He looked like Nicely a done, Whitey. hitting home runs that direction. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Whitey looked angry there. Maybe it's all those dots all over Swings his face. Oh, and not just offensively, <laughs> but this is a guy that has a can't, hand can't imagine you'd be too happy about that. Balls in over 100 miles per hour. He's got speed on the base paths. He can do it all. And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. We're in the middle of the first well, inning here at Metropolitan defense, Stadium. The 1 and 20 Tokyo pitches, Kaiju, nothing. Really the New York Knights coming up. Back here at the ballpark. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Griffin Roberts. 0-1 oh, with on a him. 27 ERA. He, he has not done very well. Stuff, so Jackie Robinson just reached level three not very long ago. He's hitting 400 currently with a homer and four RBIs. He puts down. You nod the head and you throw that pitch. And he deals. Good job, Jackie. Way to get things started. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Cattell Marte. Marte is hitting 280 with no homers, two RBIs. Just got him from the extreme program. Ball one there. That's why he's in the lineup. Working on those missions. 
I think he needs 50 hits Nobody out. Runner at first. for his personal mission. Swung on, belted. Back there. That's got a chance. Oh. It right up against the wall. Leaning against the wall, he reached up and made the catch. Wow. Robbed Marte of his first oh, homer of the year. Nice yep. Right Leaning up against the wall. No, he didn't rob him of a home run. But nice catch nonetheless. Feeling for the wall with the bare hand while keeping his eyes on the baseballs. It's coming down his glove in a good position to make nice a catch. Nice catch nonetheless. That's Shohei Otani's exactly batting 457, four home runs, 13 that's RBIs. He's had a very good season, and that's Two right down. to him. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself. Babe Ruth is hitting 273, six homers, 11 RBIs, homered in yesterday's game. This is a and he just recently reached level five on the parallel program. Having a very good year here in the GBL. High fly ball, right? He didn't field. get enough of it. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Solid crowd here at Metropolitan Stadium this afternoon. Second inning set to go. Now the left fielder, TJ Friedel. The wind and the pitch. TJ's hitting 253 on the season. In the air, out That's going to go down center. a little bit. Going after after it. the bay no puts this here. one away. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. This is Bryce Terang. You know, this is kind of a Bryce tough matchup. 195. A facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. That's a strike. No score here in the second. Next pitch is outside. And it's Ooh, one and one. Not by Time much. Checking our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Looks oh, like Whitey brought his good stuff with him here today. Have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the bond, no. step out of the box, no. agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Here's Jan Gomes. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Jan hitting 197 on the season. A lot of low averages on this Tokyo team, and it's what you would expect on a team that has one win on a 21 games. Swings and misses. And a count is 0-2. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Going to now. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Oh, I forgot to get my bullpen up. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Aaron fires it in, and the potential go-ahead run stops at second base. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down. The yep, he followed a couple off. You gotta make him pay. Runner in scoring. You gotta hit. Now, I had him and lost him. Push across the first run of the ball game. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. 
DeYoung hitting 176. His six RBIs are tops on the Kaiju. And the lefty with the 0-1. And that one fouled off. Gomes at second with two down. Swing and a miss. And that is that. So Whitey gets out of the mini jam. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. We move to the bottom half of the second inning here at Metropolitan Stadium. Tokyo nothing, New York nothing. Now the third baseman, Chipper Jones. His righty lefty splits there. Chipper sitting 414 in the GBL season with two homers, four RBIs. Those numbers, those bigger numbers are his overall numbers in the game, apparently. Roberts back to work. The other way. Friedel makes the grab one away. They're not really relevant to the GBL season. I don't know why they would show those. And here's the first baseman, Mark McGuire. Mark sitting 500, two home runs, seven RBIs. His RBIs have all been clutch. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Mark doesn't have any wheels, but he'll beat that out. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Griffin Roberts departs, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher on here, Jake Odorizzi. Here's a speed threat, Hank Aaron. Hank's batting 0-74 on the year, man. He has just had a rough time of it. That one is absolutely belted. He homered a couple games ago. That's that one there. has a shot, and it's gone. Hank Aaron. His second home run in about five games. It's two nothing. The slump he may be coming to an end. Over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. 391 foot blast here at Metropolitan Stadium over the left center field wall. Now towards the base of the scoreboard. Hank Aaron puts the Knights in front. Sammy's hitting 292. He doesn't have a home run yet this year. That's deep. He does now. He High over the left to center left, field wall. Their lead. It's three nothing. His first of the year off the concrete beyond the netted walls there. See-through walls, whatever you want to call them. 403 foot blast and the Knights are firmly in control. Kaiju staring loss number 22 right in the face. Or 21, I'm sorry. And one in 20. Back to back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to see Definitely got all of that one. This is the kind of thing Bill that Myers really batting 364 with two home runs. Both and of his round trippers have been big ones. On the ground. And he takes it himself for the out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home no run. Not the allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Randy Dabnak taking You're over on the mound. Please. And this could be a pretty now, critical okay. point in this game. Randy. They're hoping he's the guy Dabnak. to keep him within striking distance. Now it's the power-speed combo. Jackie Robinson, outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Jackie's one for one today. Lead-off single to start the game. And that is cut on and missed. And that is strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Gus Barlin appears to be getting loose. The 0-1. 
on the ground to the left. Slings it across, and that ends the inning. But the, but the Knights put up three. In this inning, not once, but twice. It's now 3 nothing. That one from Hank Aaron was a big one. Sammy followed it up to complete here at Metropolitan Stadium. The Knights lead 3 well, to nothing. After the third inning, and now the DH, Bryce Harper. Harper's hitting 246. Not a bad year for him, but only one home run. Seven RBIs. One of the top guys on Tokyo's very poor team. There's a strike. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. The wind of the pitch. This to third. Rolls across the diamond. Harper retired. That enough. The first baseman, number 25. And here is C.J. Crone. Says that C.J. Crone's four RBIs are tops on the active team, yet we just saw Bryce Harper, who has seven RBIs. So the GBL is completely screwed up statistics-wise. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And it has been and since the game out. came out again. It should be fixed by now. So up next, Jake Myers. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Why he's going to try and finish it off. As having elite level speed, this will be his final batter. absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And that's in there for strike one. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that. Chipper. Don't have the elite speed. The Over to Big Mac. Knights get the victory. This is just a nice win. Three nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you score, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching, timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. Three nothing, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Whitey Ford picks up the victory. Griffin Roberts takes the loss. He actually didn't pitch too bad. Considering he had a 27 ERA, I believe it was, when he came into the game. He didn't give up any runs, I don't think. That was Hank Aaron going yard. And Sammy Sosa followed him with his first of the year. New York Knights got three runs on four hits, no errors. The Tokyo Kaiju, no runs on one hit. And they did not make any errors. Whitey Ford is your player of the game. He got the win. Complete game, one hit shutout, striking out five. Hank Aaron, one for one with a homer and two RBIs for the Knights. Sammy Sosa, one for one with a homer. Mark McGuire, one for one with a run scored. And Jackie Robinson, one for two. Knights wrote a big three-run second inning and route to victory. Whitey Ford, the winner, he improves to 4-1 on the season. His ERA is 208. Griffin Roberts falls to 0-2. His ERA came down, actually, to 15.43. So the Knights beat the Kaiju 3-0 at Metropolitan Stadium. Thank you for joining me. Hope you had fun. I'll see you soon.